Okay, we are using Excel solver to uh, solve equations to find to solve like optimization problem in this case so what you need to find like usually you don't have the excel solver available down here if you use different version is different things to activate it but i use like office on the windows so you go to file and then you go to options so look for the options okay excel options now when you go to options click on add ins and then on the add ins you go back to go down to excel add ins click on the go then down here check the excel solver and that's how you activate solver uh, to use the solver again i have a specific equation optimization equation in this optimization equation uh, I have a window, I want to find the maximum area, I have limited framing, which is 12 meter of framing. So the framing meaning that I have uh, 2R plus 2H plus pi R, which is the circumference of semicircle, all of it is 12. And then I want to find the maximum area. So uh, for the circumference, I can put this equation 2R plus 2H plus pi R is equal to 12. I ended up with this equation, H is equal to 12 minus 2R minus pi R divided by 2. And then I have the equation for the area as well. So I put everything in the Excel sheet down here. So the height, this is the equation for the height. And then equation for the area, which is the same equation, 2 times B2 times plus pi R squared divided by 2. And then I have the equation for the cost as well. So 2 times 12 plus C2 times 3. So I have all these three equations. Now what I want to do, I want to maximize the area. Right, let's look at the first part of the problem. I want to find the maximum area. Okay, and when you find the maximum area, you want to find what R and H is corresponding to that, right? So you want to find the value for R and H in a scenario where you have maximum area. So in Excel solver, just click on this C2. Again, you click on the solver. Uh, in the solver, the question has to set the, set the objective. So my objective is actually C2, is already flashing on it. Again, I do click on it to make sure that I select the right cell. So C2 is already in the max, that's perfect. By changing what cells, like in this case, I have only one cell to change, which is gonna be this cell. Change the cell of A2 and then press. So again, it's down here, they say that make unconstrained variable non-negative. Again, in this case, it's okay. It's okay because the area, again, the R, H, they cannot be negative. And then I click on solve. Okay, found the solution. Let's look at what we found on the solution. So we can say keep the solution. You can keep the solution for me. It found the value of R as 1.6, the value of H as 1.68. So both of them are 1.7 and then the cost of 54. This is exactly what I found from here. I found like 1.62. 1.7 again there are some difference in there because I didn't select 1.68 as the accurate number and then the cost is 54.24 uh, in the second scenario so the scenario for the maximum this is actually going to be the value for it let me just to cost to copy this so this is actually for the scenario of um, this is for the scenario of maximum area uh, this time I have limited budget so limited budget, meaning that this budget could be $50. So I want to go to Excel Solver again. And this time I add a constraint to it. And the constraint that I add is that my budget down here, okay, should be less than or equal to $50. So I have limited in my budget. And then it's going to find a different solution for me, which is going to be um, considering this constraint. And it found the solution. The solution is actually need to put 2.3 I don't know what this is just but it's a very crazy height small area but that's what I requested for right if you want to get into uh, $60 that's actually what's happening is going to be like 3.4 as the height one as the radius again it found a different scenario it found something like at 2.3 and that uh, but again that's not gonna fit more again in this case you have to play with it to if I run this again with a different value of R, I make it different thing. Let me just to change the value for R to something like 0 0.1. Let's just change the value for R and I rerun the simulation again. Solver. 
solve it this time it found what i had there right it found a different scenario it found this scenario again it's all depending on your starting point where you start your point you're going to find a different solution so this is what is filling my budget as the r as what one and then the height as this so this is going to be for uh, where i have uh, limited budget 